whole ball game. And by the third and fourth quarter, they expect that they're running the football so well, they're going to wear your defense down. Johnson, seven carries, eight yards. There's a look at Washington. One of the players that didn't play defensively in their first matchup. High formation. Kemp rolls to the near side and will bootleg it. He will be tossed out of bounds by Rossi Johnson, the bandit back, the drop linebacker. Jerry, that's a run all the way. And you were talking about the rematch. And when you go back to the first game, in that game, Central Michigan had a lot of success running the football. They had 69 plays for 300 yards, but they really had seven plays that gained 280 yards. Pruitt had a 60-yard run, a 59-yard run, and a 40-yard run. So UNLV is trying tonight to make Central Michigan work the field. Not give them any big plays. Third and four, line of scrimmage to 36-yard line. Up to Central Michigan. Motion by Kordakowski, lone setback. And Kemp will roll to his right. Has Kordakowski up over the 40. Enough for the first down. He is forced out of bounds on the 44-yard line by Brittany Posey, the weak side linebacker. Gain of eight. Been impressed with Eric Temp, the quarterback, because when he gets on the corner, he has the running ability to run the football. Also has a strong arm. You're going to see him roll to the right here. Pressure by Las Vegas off the corner, but you see he's, he's got good speed to get to the corner and a good arm to get the ball outside for the completion. 1,778 yards total offense in 1994 for Eric Kemp. He has certainly been the emotional leader of this offensive football team. They give the ball to Johnson, and he knocks his way through a couple of tackles up over the 50-yard line, and finally Marvin Robinson in to bring him down. And Coach, the pros really like this Johnson, Eric Johnson. They think he is certainly a possibility to play on Sunday. Well, when you look at Eric Johnson, he hasn't played since the seventh game, so stamina is going to be a big factor tonight. But if they, they talked about he and Brian Pruitt, if they ran 10 40-yard dashes, they'd each win five. Uh, he had 120 yards versus Vegas early in the, early in the season. And Michigan State recruited him a little bit, and then dropped off of him, but he's fine back. Thanks again to Johnson, looking deep for Kordakowski and overthrows him. Down here the 25-yard line, Marvin Robinson there on the coverage. Andy Kordakowski had a couple of steps on the defender. What made this play for UNLV was Rossi Johnson, number 44. Just able to get to Eric Kemp. You're going to see him come off the corner, the outside linebacker. Eric Kemp hit the football, but you see him hit him just as he throws the football. Good bait by Eric Temp and a good call. Second and two, you figure you can come back and make it on third and two, but again, Central Michigan, their team runs the football. Third and two, three seconds remaining here in the first quarter. This will be the final play of the first quarter, barring a penalty. And they give the ball to Johnson. But the officials blow it dead, a penalty on the play. They may have run out of time. Dead ball, delay a game, offense, five yards, third down. Jerry, what I think happened on this play is Eric Kemp is, was trying to check off because UNLV's Marvin Robinson, number one, was gonna come with a blitz. He's a cornerback from the outside, and I think Eric Temp saw that and tried to change the play and just ran out of time. Now that'll make it third and seven with the five-yard step off. Now back in the shotgun formation is Eric Kemp. Kemp looking upfield, rolling to his right, will throw it down to has a receiver wide open, carries McMillan, and he cuts across, and McMillan has nothing but open field to the end zone. 53-yard touchdown pass, Eric Temp to the senior, Terrace McMillan, and suddenly the Chippewas come roaring back. Well, Jerry, what happens a lot of times when a play turns into a scrambling situation, a defensive back will let a receiver go. Terrence McMillan is going to do a smart thing here. Eric Temp's buying time, but Terrence McMillan... In the scramble rule of good football teams, if you're on the sideline, you head up the field. And that's exactly what Terrence McMillan did and caught the touchdown pass from Eric Temp. And the conversion. Brad Blasey on. 
to pull the Chippewas to within four points. And that will end it at the first quarter. 24 points on the board. We told you we would have fireworks here in Las Vegas. Back with more after this.